The casting process for Fat City in 1972 was a careful selection of talented actors who could bring depth and authenticity to their roles. Director John Huston wanted relatively unknown actors for the main characters, Stacy Keach and Jeff Bridges, to better portray the struggling boxers. Stacy Keach, known for his stage work, was chosen for the role of Tully. Huston was impressed by Keach's dedication and his ability to convey the character's weariness and determination. Jeff Bridges, who had recently gained recognition for his role in The Last Picture Show, was cast as Ernie. Bridges' natural charm and vulnerability made him a perfect fit for the role. Susan Tyrrell, an experienced stage actress, was cast as Oma, the down-and-out barfly. Her raw and intense performance earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Nicholas Colasanto, known for his work on television, was chosen for the role of Reuben. His portrayal of the aging boxing trainer added a sense of wisdom and warmth to the film. The casting of Fat City was a careful process of selecting actors who could bring authenticity and depth to their roles, contributing to the film's realistic and compelling portrayal of the lives of struggling boxers. John Huston, the director of Fat City, was known for his unique vision and ability to bring raw, powerful stories to life. In Fat City, Houston aimed to depict the harsh realities of the boxing world and the people drawn to it. Huston's creative influences included the works of writer Raymond Chandler and the tough, uncompromising films of the 1940s and 50s. His directorial style was characterized by a focus on realism, with an emphasis on capturing natural performances from his actors. To achieve this, Houston worked closely with his cast, including Stacy Keach and Jeff Bridges, to help them understand their characters and the world they inhabited. He encouraged improvisation and allowed the actors to bring their own ideas to the table, resulting in a more authentic and believable on-screen performance. Houston also collaborated closely with his crew, including cinematographer Conrad Hall, to create a visual style that matched the gritty, unvarnished tone of the story. The use of handheld cameras and natural lighting helped to create a sense of immediacy and realism, further immersing the audience in the world of Fat City. Overall, Huston's directorial vision for Fat City was one of unflinching realism and raw motion, resulting in a powerful and enduring film that continues to resonate with audiences today. The 1972 movie Fat City is a classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. This raw and powerful film, directed by John Huston, offers a gritty portrayal of the boxing world and the people who inhabit it. The movie's enduring qualities include its realistic dialogue, memorable characters, and unforgettable performances from actors like Stacy Keach and Jeff Bridges. Throughout the film, viewers will find themselves laughing, gasping, and even shedding a tear or two. From shocking twists to heartbreaking moments, Fat City is a roller coaster ride of emotions that will leave a lasting impression. As we delve deeper into this timeless classic, we'll uncover some fascinating facts about its production, the actors, and the real-life events that inspired the story. So, stay tuned, and don't forget to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Fat City in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, what makes Fat City an everlasting symbol of the industry? For starters, its unflinching look at the harsh realities of the boxing world is as relevant today as it was 50 years ago. The film's raw, authentic style sets it apart from other movies of the era, and its powerful performances continue to captivate audiences. Fat City also serves as a time capsule, capturing the essence of its era while exploring universal themes of hope, perseverance, and the human spirit. Whether you're a fan of boxing, drama, or just great storytelling, Fat City is a must-watch movie that will leave a lasting impression. As we explore this classic film, We'll discuss its themes, its impact on the industry, and the enduring qualities that make it a timeless masterpiece. From its unforgettable characters to its shocking twists, in turn, Fat City is a movie that will stay with you long after the credits roll. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we delve into the world of Fat City. The 1972 movie Fat City was shot primarily in Stockton, California, serving as a stand-in for the story's setting in Sacramento. The film's set design and locations were carefully chosen to reflect the gritty, realistic atmosphere of the characters' lives. The production team transformed various locations in Stockton to create the film's environments. For instance, they converted an old YMCA into a boxing gym 
where many pivotal scenes take place. They also use rundown apartments, bars, and parks to emphasize the character's hard scrabble existence. One logistical challenge was finding suitable locations that could convincingly portray the film's time period, which is set in the early 1950s. The production team had to source authentic props and decorations to ensure historical accuracy. As for innovative techniques, Fat City was one of the first films to use Steadicam technology, albeit in a limited capacity. The Steadicam, invented by cinematographer Garrett Brown in 1975, allows for smooth, stable handheld shots, even while moving. While the technology was not fully developed during the filming of Fat City, the production team did use an early version of it for a few shots, making it a pioneer in this regard. Overall, the production of Fat City required careful attention to detail, meticulous location scouting, and a keen eye for historical accuracy. The result is a powerful, realistic portrayal of the characters' lives and struggles. Fat City is one of John Huston's late masterpieces, showcasing his directing prowess even if it were the only film of his you ever saw. Based on Leonard Gardner's novel, the story revolves around two boxers, their trainer, and the women in their lives. It's a poignant exploration of loss and survival with every scene making a point and leaving a lasting impression. The film features Stacy Keach as Tully, an aging boxer and a born loser, and Jeff Bridges as Ernie Munger, a younger boxer who is soft in the middle and has little chance of making it big. Nicholas Colasanto steals the show as their cynical but persistent trainer, while Susan Tyrrell delivers a phenomenal performance as a troubled alcoholic woman who becomes involved with Tully. The boxing scenes are raw and authentic, making Fat City one of the greatest boxing pictures ever made. The film also explores the theme of wounded masculinity as both boxers struggle to come to terms with their failures and insecurities. The setting of Stockton, California adds to the film's gritty realism with its gas stations, small town bars, long empty roads, side streets, orchards, barren fields, levees, and ugly one-room apartments. The landscapes are both idyllic and bleak, capturing the essence of the characters' lives. The film's exploration of sex and relationships is also noteworthy. Tully's relationship with an alcoholic woman is spiritually wounding, and he cannot forget his wife who left him. Ernie, on the other hand, is deeply insecure about his new wife. Overall, Fat City is a must-watch for fans of gritty dramas and boxing movies. It's a testament to Huston's enduring legacy as a director and Gardner's powerful storytelling. The film's exploration of loss, survival, and masculinity is as relevant today as it was when it was first released. The creation of a film score and soundtrack is a meticulous process that involves blending music with the narrative and emotional tone of the movie. For the 1972 movie Fat City, the music played a significant role in emphasizing the film's gritty and raw atmosphere. Composed by Bill Conti, who later gained fame for his work on Rocky. The score for Fat City was a sparse and poignant collection of jazz and blues tunes. Connie's music perfectly complemented the film's setting in the downtrodden world of boxing in Stockton, California. Connie drew inspiration from the film's characters and their struggles, creating a score that was both melancholic and hopeful. The music reflected the emotional journey of the characters, highlighting their struggles and moments of triumph. The soundtrack also featured several popular songs from the time, including The Nighttime is the Right Time by Ray Charles and I'm a Man by Bo Diddley. These songs added to the film's authenticity, providing a sense of place and time. Connie's approach to scoring Fat City was to keep it simple and understated. He believed that the music should serve the story, not overpower it. This philosophy resulted in a score that was both memorable and effective, enhancing the film's emotional impact without distracting from the narrative. In creating the score for Fat City, Conti and the other musicians involved succeeded in crafting a musical tapestry that perfectly complemented the film's narrative and emotional tone. Their work served as a testament to the power of music in film, demonstrating how it can be used to enhance a story and deepen the audience's connection to the characters. After receiving the novel Fat City from producer Ray Stark, director John Huston was compelled to bring it to the big screen. This movie marked Huston's first American-based feature film since The Misfits 11 years prior. Fat City features a notable performance from Jeff Bridges, who was a fan and friend of Chris Christopherson. In the film, Christopherson sings Help Me Make It Through the Night, contributing to the soundtrack. 
Both actors would later appear together in Heaven's Gate. Huston's decision to adapt Fat City for the screen showcases his commitment to compelling storytelling, while the casting of Bridges and Christofferson adds to the film's appeal for audiences. One of the most iconic scenes in Fat City is when Troy and Ernie first meet in a rundown boxing gym. The director, John Huston, uses a steady camera to capture the grittiness of the setting, while the muted colors add to the overall gloomy atmosphere. Keach and Bridges' performances are authentic and raw, with their guarded interactions skillfully conveying the hardship and loneliness of their characters. In another memorable scene, Troy's estranged wife, Billy, visits him at a cheap motel. The dimly lit room and the actor's body language create a palpable tension. Huston's decision to keep the dialogue to a minimum allows the audience to fully absorb the character's emotions, making this scene a powerful exploration of regret and longing. Cinematographer Conrad Hall uses natural lighting and tight framing to emphasize the character's vulnerability, contributing to the film's overall sense of realism. The use of handheld cameras during the boxing matches further immerses the audience in the action. According to Stacy Keach, working with Houston was a transformative experience. He praised Huston's ability to create an atmosphere of trust and collaboration, which allowed the actors to fully explore their characters. Houston himself described Fat City as a film about the losers who populate the world of boxing, and his commitment to authenticity is evident in every frame. These iconic scenes have had a lasting impact on audiences, offering a nuanced portrayal of working-class America and the harsh realities of the boxing world. The film's raw emotion and gritty realism continue to resonate with viewers today. In 1972, a film called Fat City was released, three years after its source novel by Leonard Gardner was published. Gardner also wrote the screenplay for the picture. This movie marked the debut of real-life boxing champions Curtis Cox and Ruben Navarro, who played Earl and Fuentes, respectively. Interestingly, the actor who portrayed Alvaro Lopez in Fat City made a comeback about a dozen years later in a movie called Fear City. In this later film, he took on the role of Rio's manager and was also the boxing coordinator. Fat City was a significant movie for both Cox and Navarro as it was their first appearance in a theatrical feature film. Their portrayal of boxers in the movie was no doubt influenced by their real-life experiences in the ring. The movie gave them an opportunity to showcase their acting skills and contribute to the world of film. The 1972 movie Fat City, directed by John Huston, made a significant cultural and social impact. The film, set in Stockton, California, offered a raw and authentic portrayal of the lives of boxers and the working-class community, which resonated with audiences. Fat City explored themes of poverty, broken dreams, and the human struggle for success, which were relatable to many people. The film's realistic depiction of the seedy side of boxing and the harsh realities of life contributed to discussions about social issues such as class divisions and the American dream's disillusionment. The movie also influenced pop culture, inspiring other films and television shows that delved into similar themes and settings. It showcased the raw talent of its actors, including Stacey Keach and Jeff Bridges, who gave compelling performances that left a lasting impression on viewers. Moreover, Fat City's cultural impact was significant in its representation of the working class experience. The film's unvarnished portrayal of the struggles and hardships faced by its characters highlighted the challenges that many people in similar situations encounter in their daily lives. In conclusion, Fat City's cultural and social impact can be seen in its influence on pop culture and its contribution to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The film's raw and authentic portrayal of the lives of boxers and the working class community resonated with audiences and left a lasting impression on the cultural landscape. The 1972 film, Fat City, directed by John Huston, delves into the lives of defeated boxers and their unyielding hope. Nicholas Colasanto, who later gained fame as coach on Cheers, made his first appearance in a boxing cult film with Fat City, followed by Raging Bull. Al Silvani, who played the referee in the Tully Lucero fight, had a recurring role in the Rocky series and other boxing films such as Every Which Way But Loose, Dempsey, Goldie, and The Boxer, The All-American Boy, and Goldie, and The Boxer Go to Hollywood. Houston described Fat City as a movie about the spiritual process of the defeated and the futility and indestructibility of hope encapsulating the struggles of the characters in the film. 
Fat City, directed by John Huston and released in 1972, received critical acclaim for its realistic portrayal of the lives of boxers and the working class. The film was praised for its strong direction, naturalistic performances, and realistic cinematography. Notable film critic Roger Ebert gave the film a positive review, highlighting the extraordinary performances and superb direction. He commended Houston for his ability to create a sense of place and for the film's unflinching look at the world of boxing. Pauline Kael, another well-known critic, also praised the film, calling it a beautiful, low-keyed, deeply compassionate movie and a small masterpiece. She particularly singled out Stacy Keach and Jeff Bridges for their terrific performances. The film was also well received by audiences, with many praising its gritty realism and strong character development. Fat City received one award and one nomination. It won the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actress for Susan Tyrrell's performance. The film was also nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress Motion Picture for Susan Tyrrell. These accolades are significant for those involved in the film as they serve as a testament to the quality of their work and the impact it had on the film industry. The awards and nominations also helped to raise the profile of the film and attract a wider audience. The positive reception from both critics and audiences has also contributed to the film's enduring legacy as a classic of the boxing genre. The 1972 movie Fat City received a single Academy Award nomination in 1973 for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, awarded to Susan Tyrrell. However, the award went to Eileen Heckart for Butterflies Are Free. The film marked the final theatrical appearance of lightweight boxing champion Art Arrigan, who played the character of Babe. Arrigan had a long history in film and television, with appearances dating back to the early 1950s zone and continuing until the late 1970s. Jeff Bridges, another actor in Fat City, was considered for the role of Dan Gallagher in Fatal Attraction, which eventually went to Michael Douglas. Bridges' performance in Fat City showcased his talent and contributed to his being considered for future roles. During the filming of Fat City in 1972, Stacy Keach, who played the lead role, formed a close bond with co-star Jeff Bridges. They spent much of their free time playing basketball, which helped to build their on-screen camaraderie. The film's director, John Huston, was known for his unconventional directing style. He often preferred to shoot scenes in long, continuous takes, which created a sense of realism and spontaneity. Susan Tyrell, who played a pivotal supporting role, received critical acclaim for her performance. However, she was not the first choice for the part. Houston had initially wanted an older, more experienced actress, but after seeing Tyrell's audition, he was convinced she was perfect for the role. Tyrell's performance was so raw and powerful that it left a lasting impression on her co-stars and the crew. The film's locations in Stockton, California, added to its authenticity. Many of the boxing scenes were shot in a real gym, and the apartments and bars where the characters lived and socialized were also genuine. This created a sense of grittiness and realism that was essential to the film's tone. Despite the film's authentic locations and raw performances, it was not a commercial success upon its release. However, over time, it has gained a cult following and it and is now regarded as a classic of 1970s American cinema. The making of Fat City was a testament to the power of authenticity and the importance of capturing real moments on film. After the premiere of Fat City in 1972, champion boxer Muhammad Ali reportedly identified with the film, telling director John Huston, that's me talking up there. The movie is based on the novel Fat City by Leonard Gardner, which is his only published work. The film cinematography, as noted in sports and the movies, features mostly artificial light in bars and above the boxing ring. The picture is also featured in the documentary Visions of Light as an example of excellent cinematography. The 1972 movie Fat City, directed by John Huston, holds a significant place in film history. This compelling boxing drama, set in Stockton, California, offers a raw and authentic portrayal of the human condition focusing on the struggles of two boxers, Billy Tully and Ernie Munger. Fat City's influence on future filmmaking is evident in its realistic and unromanticized depiction of the sport, which deviated from the typical Hollywood portrayal of boxing. The film's naturalistic acting style, anchored by Stacy Keach and Jeff Bridges' powerful performances, inspired many filmmakers to embrace more genuine performances. 
The movie also delved into themes of disappointment, aging, and the harsh realities of life, leaving a lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. Its exploration of the American dream and the pursuit of success, despite overwhelming odds, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Subsequent works inspired by Fat City include films like Raging Bull and Million Dollar Baby, which further delved into the world of boxing and the human spirit. Additionally, the film's influence can be seen in the growing trend of realistic, character-driven dramas that prioritize authenticity over glamour. In summary, Fat City has left an indelible mark on film history through its groundbreaking portrayal of boxing, its naturalistic acting style, and its exploration of timeless themes. Its influence continues to resonate in contemporary cinema, inspiring filmmakers to create authentic and compelling stories. The title of the film and source novel Fat City holds significance, deriving from Negro slang. It represents the desire for the good life, although achieving this goal is considered unattainable, creating irony. The film's director, John Huston, cast some of his old boxer friends from his earlier days in minor roles and supporting parts. Notably, this movie marks the first appearance in a theatrical feature for actress Candy Clark and actors Curtis Cox, Ruben Navarro, Billy Walker, and Sixto Rodriguez, contributing to their early careers in the film industry. The production of the 1972 movie, Fat City, was initially associated with United Artists. However, it later became a Columbia Pictures studio production. The film features a real-life boxing scene where Sixto Rodriguez knocked out actor Stacy Keach. This shot is included in the movie. Interestingly, the director of Fat City, John Huston, had witnessed the historic Jack Dempsey vs. Louis Furpo fight when he was around 16 years old. The fight took place on September 14, 1923, at the Polo Grounds in New York City. Houston reportedly found the fight to be excellent theater. If you have memories and experiences related to the 1972 movie Fat City, we'd love to hear from you. This classic film has touched the hearts of many, leaving a lasting impact and influencing their perspective on cinema. By sharing your thoughts, you can enrich the conversation and connect with a community of film enthusiasts. Don't forget to engage with our posts by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. Your support helps us continue to delve into the world of classic films and share their stories with a wider audience. So, whether Fat City moved you, inspired you, or made you think in a new way, we invite you to share your insights and start a conversation. Let's celebrate this iconic film.